Hi, this is Chris with Tooled. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> He's going to love that. Say Danny Lipford, and you're right in like Cliff. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so here's your remote on off. Really simple. This is your remote box. This is in conjoined with your remote. This has four AA batteries in it. They need to be changed out once a year. It's imperative that you change out these once a year. If you do not, they, you run the risk of these getting low and they start to leak. Once they start to leak, this box is no longer good anymore. This box as, also acts as a switch. So if your remote goes out or the wall switch quits working, this can also be flipped to the right uh, to be used as a normal switch. Okay, moving on. Uh, this is your pilot control knob or your gas control knob. This should be the only time you get down here is at the beginning of the season to light your pilot. So on this knob, it is hard to see, but on the left we have off. Right here, towards 11 o'clock, we have pilot. Pilot has a raised L. That is the pilot position, is the raised L. And then over here we have on. And then right here, all the way at your 9 o'clock, is the position that you're in. It's a, like a little teardrop piece of metal here. Okay, from here, we're going to go counterclockwise to the raised L. And it's sure to, it should sure to slide into place on the raised L. So push in and hold the raised L. Now, if you have one of these, this works really nicely, as opposed to pressing the sparker. I'm going to show you with this one. Light your matchstick first. Press in here and hold the pilot button down. Stick it down here by the pilot and continue to hold the pilot button until the nozzle on the pilot turns cherry red. Once it turns cherry red, you can release. Now, if you release the pilot button and it goes out, restart it over again and relight your pilot, but hold the pilot button longer. If it's anything longer than a minute, your pilot's probably dirty, or um, you might have a little bit of air in the line, but try to hold it a little bit longer. If the flame looks weak, it needs to be cleaned, it needs to be serviced. Okay, from here. The next step is to turn this counterclockwise one more time. And now we're in the on position. If you go to hit your remote or your wall switch and the big flame does not come on, you have forgotten to turn on or to move this knob to on. Okay, so once we have this into on, we can now turn on the unit. Or turn it off. Now at the beginning of the season, when you first light this up, once you put this into on, after you've already had your pilot lit, and you're in the on position, walk away for about a minute, and then come back, and then hit your on button to get the flame going. It needs time to heat the sensor up before you actually turn the burner on. Um, if you burn this anything longer than three hours, please crack a window, open a door, whatever you need to do to get some ventilation. Because keep in mind you are burning your own oxygen, even though this is slightly vented. Just uh, get yourself some fresh air. This right here is your high and low for your burner. Uh, in this small area, I would go with low. Uh, 
because it's just going to be so hot in here. Um, I don't see it when I'm looking at it, but mm -hmm. when I look at it on here. You can see it? There's red. On what? Oh, okay. Oh, on down here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's red down there. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't see it from where I was standing. I was like, what is that? <laughs> is that a leak? Yeah, no. <laughs> nope. Uh, that's just part of the uh, <clears throat> part of the uh, switching. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm still rolling. Yep, still rolling. Okay. Um, there is a damper clamp on the flue up here. I know you can't see it in the video, but you cannot close this this flue all the way because there is a stop in there. So it is cracked at least a little bit. Um, let's see. Make sure you have a carbon monoxide detector. If you do not, okay. Uh, when you have that one on, and yeah. you try to turn that off, it's not going to work. Uh, my coworker brings up a good point. Um, <clears throat> let's say you go to flip the switch. Yeah. The future switch. Okay. There'll be a switch there, just like a light switch. It'll turn it on and off. Okay. Now that light switch will only work as well as this remote will only work once the pilot is going and it's on, okay. down here. So if that switch is turned on and then you go to sit down on your couch and then you forget that you flipped it on with the switch and you go to hit off, it will not shut off. These, This remote and that switch on the wall are piggybacked off one another. They're both redundant. So if you have one on uh, the other one, if you try to shut it off, it will not shut it off. So they both have to, everything has to be off. Uh, so you just make sure everything's off. So so if you flip it by the switch, shut turn it, it off, off by the switch. Gotcha. If you turn it on with the remote, shut it off with the remote. Gotcha. Um, I believe that is everything. Okay. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>